morning everybody we are so happy that you're here we get daily vlog so if you like this video please come back tomorrow it is friday a pride weekend in our neighborhood and you can just feel it so exciting um but first today i am headed to the dermatologist i'm out of breath um because i'm running late i will admit that our sleeping hasn't been great lately. For some reason, Jamesy's sleep hasn't been great. His canines are like, his canines have been through, but they're like finally dropping. And we think that that is just like causing him to wake up more. So instead of like tag teaming a newborn in the middle of the night, it's been Peter taking on James, me taking on Teddy. Um, but last night, everybody just slept and all of a sudden we woke up and it was 8 30 and which was great for the sleeping department but not for me who had to get to my appointment so i am headed there now Baby here. Got a baby wreaking havoc over there. Julian. A nice cup of joe right there. With my Jiminy Cricket mug. I'm just waiting for my doctor, which is a new doctor. Um, my who I've who I've seen forever, like forever. She moved and I didn't get to say goodbye and I've known her for so long. She knows my skin so well, so I'm a little bit, you know, just like anxious and nervous and excited to meet who will be my new doctor. What's cool is the office I've gone to, they have an office on Halstead. And before I would travel to the suburbs to see my specific, um, position so it is kind of nice that now I'll only have like a quick walk to come here instead of it being like a whole day ordeal you can even see I got a nice view um so yeah wish wish me luck are you trying to bite your overalls <laughs> you see mama I'm uploading the vlog let's see you work those rainbow overalls Jamesy and Mr. Teddy's matchy matchy. We'll get a better like shot of them together later, but pretty darn cute. So little dermatologist update. We are on our way to the aquarium, but when I got home, I said to like get ready and go for our like booked time. Um, but everything went well. I didn't have anything removed. I really do like the new doctor. She was very thorough and she was very kind. Um, it's the same, like I said, group that I was with before, just in a different office. Um, and yeah, I felt very comfortable and it went well. So they did say to come back in 12 months. I always opt for six months just because I, I like the extra always look. Advocate for yourself. Yes, always advocate for yourself. That's what Peter just said. Um, if you are new and you don't know, I always do this kind of like PSA every six months when I go to the dermatologist. My dad passed away from melanoma cancer and I have a family history of it. So I always suggest that you go get your skin checked even if you don't have family history because something super small or different or change in your body could um, be a big deal. And it's always great. Like I, I say this every time, like the good thing about skin cancer is that it shows itself and that if you can catch it early um that's always great so definitely think about getting your skin checked and i'll say this again in six months so there's street parking and museum campus we're right by the adler planetarium but the shed is really close just over there um 
got the kids. We have Teddy staying in his car seat. Are you excited? Oh, it's too bright, too bright, too bright. I believe that there is like an actual parking lot. I think I saw that parking was 30 bucks, but if you can get lucky and get a parking spot over here, it's just as much as like the normal street parking. I thought it was gonna be like hiked up because of where we are, this being like more touristy, but it's like 250 an hour. I'm so shocked at that. It's also gorgeous out there's it's a beautiful so breeze gorgeous. off of the lake. There's like no clouds. Fun fact, Peter and I came here and parked here on a Sunday, right? Yeah. I don't know, we came here and parked here and we like didn't think we had to pay. And then we got like our very first ticket here. I think it was, I was very appalled. You were appalled. And I think it was my birthday? It was, yeah, it was your birthday because it was when I had the pie, the uh, pudding. Oh yeah, Peter made me a pie for my birthday. And, and also told you we were gonna eat at Cinderella's Royal Table. When we went yeah, to it was like a few months before our college program. And it was so chilly in May, shocking. And then we got back to our car. Actually, I think that was a different time. I think we got the ticket when it was like the night before we went back to school because we were like gonna make it a tradition that we were gonna like come and have a picnic here. I don't know, one like, of those times. We, like <laughs> we do like traditions. But sometimes when you're old and like 10 years have passed, you don't remember them as well as you used to. So we got here. We realized we hadn't eaten much today, so we're gonna have some sandwiches before we keep on keeping on. James, we got a PB and J. Here's our sandwiches and house-made kettle chips. Sarah's roast beast. Yeah, with like roasted, it has roasted veggies and mustard on it. And I got a caprese. Ooh, okay. Looking good. Isn't that bread? Yeah, yeah. James is loving his PB and J, which is funny because like he never has he ever had a PB and J. On toast. Like once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> How I feel about food too, James. All right, we're done with lunch. Now we're gonna go. To underwater Beauty, which James was asleep for last time. It's got a lot of beautiful, like, jellies and fluorescent fish. And Teddy is still rocking a good nap. I love the bugaboo. <whistles> Having flashbacks to a wedding I went to once at an aquarium. Look, they're all congregating. Either it's almost food time or they're gonna come jumping in. James, look. Look at this one swimming. Look at it. 
Dolphins are playing. Wow. <laughs> Successful trip to Shedd Aquarium, I'd say so. Very. We, yeah, he was awake the whole time. We, there was a lot we didn't do, yeah. but we are members and we plan on coming back more. Right. Um, we just didn't want to overdo it too. Look, like Sarah's still only four weeks, four weeks postpartum. Almost. It's yeah. nap time for the kids. Teddy's still asleep. He's in the carrier with me. Mm -hmm. um, but we might play in the grass, might just hang out in the beautiful weather before we get back in the car. So we decided we're gonna just like hang out on the grass here. It's so beautiful out. But this way you can get a little bit of a rest in. Jimmy's still eating popcorn. And and I saw somebody drinking like this big Sprite, so I got one for me. So I'm gonna sip on that. It is not every day we are over on the lakefront with dad. Dad's, you know, usually running. Um, but all of us together. So we're just gonna enjoy, watch the boats, and relax. Peter's gonna get a blanket that's in the car for us. Look at this view. Perfect day. Absolute perfect day. I also went back to the car to get a blanket. And I got attacked by a bird. Like a bird legitimately flew and hit me in the back of the head. It must be near a nest or something. That was quite frightening considering I've got Teddy with me in the carrier. So I'm walking on like the outskirts of the inner road that we were on. Freaky. for the day that I'd be walking around on a summery, hot, sunny Chicago day in front of the Shedd Aquarium right on Lake Michigan. Here's one of my babies. Here's the Lakefront Trail. I'm gonna run this whole thing one day. It's like 18 miles, I think, the whole thing, end to end. I've run lots of huge sections of it. Oh, hand please. Thank you. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day on all the boats. Sailing schools. There's a low flying helicopter there because I think there's actually a uh, like boat race, international boat racing competition um, Saturday and Sunday, tomorrow and Sunday. Because I mean, we saw it online and then we drove past uh, next to Soldier Field. They have like the giant tents, like garages for each of the countries. We saw like New Zealand, USA. You wanna go down? Well, let me help you. What you got there? <gasps> Blow on it, go. <laughs> Jamesy. Hey. James. Be nice. Be nice. You are so sweet. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't know if we're going to go anywhere else during this beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Did I say beautiful? Did I say it's a beautiful day? Um, right now, I think we might be going home. Yeah. It's kind of that but I'm time. so, it worked out. So we were originally going to do this yesterday, and it was so, so hot. Like, we would not have been able to enjoy it that much. Very happy. Yes. I think we should still max and throw it, because it's actually going to get colder throughout the day. Yeah, it's going to be And it's going to be like 60 tomorrow, because that's, why not have a low 55 after like a plus 100, plus 100 degree heat index. Uh -huh. um, so I feel like we should go on a walk later today, like in our neighborhood, or maybe yeah. even to the beach near us. Yeah. Um, is. What? There's a wedding. Oh, wedding! Photo bomb. Crazy. I've run over here. This is actually where I almost, where I slipped and just nearly fell into the lake when it was frozen. So it wasn't a fluke. I got attacked by two more or a bird, two more times. Sarah saw it this time. It was very intentional. <laughs> and we walked up a different way because I was like, I didn't want to. I don't want to like, I thought maybe if we walked up the same way I did before, we were too close to the nest. I also thought that I was like beeping the lock of the car the first time too many times, so I didn't beep it at all because I knew exactly where the car was. And I still got attacked. 
I had to run, I had to run with the stroller with James in it away. <laughs> it's wild. Got another sleeping baby behind that wall. It's a good Friday afternoon if you ask Peter Brookhart. Well, well, well. How was your nap, baby? <laughs> was it good? Come on up. Are you hungry? We're gonna have leftovers. <laughs> but in pita pockets. <laughs> Toes. Thank you. Thank you. That makes Teddy You're feel so better, nice. right? Just heating up the leftovers from yesterday. It was very good. We really liked that coconut curry slow cooker recipe. So here it is, all made up. I am going to put some salt and pepper on top. The trouble with leftovers is. Sometimes Peter puts it away, sometimes I do. Peter put it away yesterday and I did not know that we didn't have any salad left. So, this is it for dinner. These though have become one of my favorite things ever. Um, Peter's not crazy about them, so he was like, you go ahead if you want them. I mean, our the curry has chickpeas in it too, so it's like gonna be a lot of chickpeas, but I think I'm gonna have this on the side. Never cross a crunchy chick looking at her no alternatives. Do you want silk? Do you want organic? Do you want milkadamia? Do you want California farm? Do you want hope and sesame? <laughs> I like that one, hope and sesame. <laughs> Do you want good karma flax milk? Do you want rice drink? Almond breeze, so delicious. Yeah. How about we do heavy plant? That looks fun. No, original, original. Xanthan gum? Ah. I don't like I don't like a little bit of gum, but I don't want it to be like up I've... on the list. And sometimes this is all we got we got and it's How about we got hard. open nature? We got minimal gum. We got acai gum, sea salt, guir gum, and gillian gum. This is good. Great. So we're just going on a stroll. Whoa. How many times have I tripped today? Um, we wanted to go you on a tell? stroll. We didn't want the night to be over just yet. No. Okay. Well, um, they still haven't woken up. No. The alarm was going off when we walked by. Um, and Jewel was our really our only stop. Are we stopping anywhere else? N no. Unless maybe Sai Pai for a pizza. Pizza pie. No. Curveball. We brought James to the park. Let's go play. Come on. This truck stopped him in his tracks. Hey. Wee! This little stinker gave me a run for my money tonight. This little stinker is cute as can be tonight. In reality, James didn't give me a run for my money. He was actually went down really easy. He was very cuddly, went down super quick, super easy, but I couldn't transfer him to his crib. It took four times for me to get him to transfer to his crib and stay asleep. But like, I really, like it's not me complaining whatsoever because it's, he was so cuddly. <laughs> Every time like I would just put him down and by the time I like stood back up, um, he'd be awake again and wanted me to, to come out of the crib. And so just took a couple extra tries and then extra snuggling and got him down. But he was, he was great. He's got a little bit of belly ish, belly aches right now. And Eve is thirsty, so. Say la vie. I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. I keep dozing. We've had kind of quite the night at home, just like Teddy needed to like cluster feed for a while. And then James had a later nap, but he actually went down pretty well. But I just ordered us Wendy's, even though I'm like, falling asleep but maybe this little kicker I don't know I just need a little kicker still asleep I've watched most of the new season of home really good and I also saw a glimpse of tonight's newest episode of Bluey season three now we don't have access to season three in the US right now but I saw like a 20 second glimpse of it and it is a heart-wrenching one Whew. Um, but can't wait till Bluey season three comes out in the U.S. Even thought about getting a VPN just to get access to it, 
Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now. Oh, also, we have Teddy's birth certificate. So, I don't think we'll get the the last thing I wanted to do before my paternity leave is over because I actually go back to work on Monday. Let's not talk about it too much just yet. Um, I've cherished these four weeks. They've been some of the greatest four weeks of my whole life. Um, so I am I'm very thankful for them. But I am very sad to see them ending. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to get done while on those four weeks besides like getting my FFA, FAA certification uh, and a few other things that we have been able to do was to get my passport renewed and to get James and now Teddy their passports so that on the moment's notice if we want to just go ahead and book something international go to the UK, go to Scotland, go to Thailand, like we, we will be ready. Sarah's is still valid. Mine expired last year. Um, but now that we got Teddy's birth certificate, we can do that. I don't think we'll get that done in the next two days, but maybe let's just add a week onto that deadline and say we'll get it done that first week back at work. Anyway, we're going to bed. Um, Pride starts tomorrow, and Taste of Randolph is this weekend as well in Chicago. So a lot of events this weekend, and the Braves are in town playing the Cubs. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.